What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about a brand new iOS version that was released, the iOS 16.6.1. It's now available and it's currently signed and there are a lot of things important to talk about on this version, particularly vulnerabilities that have been revealed to the public and that are pretty powerful. So we're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of days ago Apple released iOS 16.6.1 and it's currently signed with iOS 16.6 as well so these two versions can be installed at the moment. The rest of them are not signed anymore. Now why is this important? Well apart from the fact that this is a brand new iOS version that means you got a new update available in the OTA settings it also contains two important vulnerabilities. One of them surprisingly enough found by Apple themselves and the other one found by the Citizen Lab at the University of Toronto. So this is pretty much a big issue because they posted this, an article about this vulnerability. It's called BlastPass and uh, the Citizen Lab, the founders of this vulnerability, basically explained how this works, who it attacks and stuff like that. And it's actually zero click from what I can see. It's an exploit chain capable of compromising your iPhone. Even if you're running the latest iOS 16.6 at that time, and by the way, 16.6 is still signed, so you could still install it. Even that version is completely vulnerable. You don't need to do anything. It says in here the exploit involved passkit attachments containing malicious image sent from an attacker iMessage account to the victim. This basically infects your device and delivers the Pegasus um, exploit chain, which is not good. It can extract all the data on the device, anything, photos, messages, call history, anything, location. So if you're running iOS 16.6 or anything lower than that, it means you're vulnerable to this kind of, of vulnerability. Now, the problem is they don't talk target everybody. You could come across it because this was captured in the wild. This is in here last week while checking the device of an individual employed by Washington DC based civil society organization with international offices. So not government but something international anyways. Citizen Lab found an actively exploited zero click vulnerability being used to deliver the NSO group's Pegasus mercenary spyware. So this is not good news. It means that this vulnerability is quite powerful and it's capable to escape the sandbox. It's capable to do root access, it's capable to maybe run arbitrary code with kernel privileges. So it's basically like a jailbreak but like a covert one. So it's probably a good idea if you think you are a person at risk, if you think you have anything to worry about on your device, you probably should go ahead and update the iOS 16.6.1 which does patch this. Now this is pretty big and in terms of jailbreaking it could definitely be used for jailbreak purposes but it also could be used for other nefarious things. So as I said if you're a person at risk enable lockdown mode because apparently this one deters the uh, issue as well and definitely update to the uh, latest version which is 16.6.1. For those of you interested in jailbreaking you shouldn't update because that patches the vulnerability and you lose the vulnerability and of course it benefits for jailbreak purposes. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.